my beautiful Libras, welcome to your January 2022 monthly reading. This is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note that it is a general message. And as such, I ask that you use your intuition and your discernment to determine what messages are meant for you and what messages are meant to be left behind for someone else. If it does not fit, simply just leave it and let somebody else pick it up that it is meant for. Please check your moon rising Venus signs for additional messages or to get an overview of all messages coming through for you at this time. This could be for you or your divine counterpart. If you are unsure or unaware of what your other planetary placements are, there is a link in the description box to a prenatal calculator that can help you suss out that information. As a gentle reminder, Libra, when I do my readings, it can come through as one big storyline, as individual messages. When I refer to he or she, I'm referring to the energies of the card as being masculine or feminine, not necessarily gender. We are all on our different timelines, so when I use time reference, like distant past, recent past, future energy, that is very relative and subjective. Meaning, it could be happening for you now, it could have already happened, or be happening in the future. We are all in different places, so it could be anywhere from yesterday to 50 years ago. That is why I ask you to use your determinant, discernment and intuition. All right, Libra, we are going to start your reading with a spirit guide message and a divine door. Then we'll be pulling a tarot, getting some romance angels. We'll be taking a look at some he said, she said messages, which, yes, that means messages directly from your person to you. If they could, what they would say, if they could speak directly to you in this moment. And then we'll be pulling some zodiac cards to see which energies which zodiac signs are most influential for you in the month of January. And finally, we will be ending the reading with a Oracle card, Wisdom of the Oracle Relationship Message for the closeout. All right, so we are starting with the Spirit Guide Message of Memories. And it comes with this message here. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of spirit. More and more memories are rising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Memories often arise at different times, some totally expected, others when you least expect them. The power of love works both ways, as your loved ones in the spirit world, world could be thinking of you at the exact same time you are thinking about them. Spirit presents this card to you so that you remember your loved ones when they were, were at their happiest and healthiest. Do not remember them if they were sick or hurt before they went to the spirit world, for they are whole again and beautiful. Take out the happiest pictures of them and look into their eyes. Notice that spark the joy that shines out from their soul. This is how they truly are now. When you remember the wonderful, loving memories and thoughts, no matter what the situation you are infused with, that positive energy, this can help you stay connected to your loved ones and also attract the highest and best for you here in the physical world. All right, and from the Divine Doors, we have Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows, share more than expected, and see love come around. So definitely a focus on memories for you guys, some reflection I feel is happening. And there, you know, this might be a time of sharing your memories of your loved ones with others and kind of sharing your memories in general and just kind of allowing things to flow. It's starting that flow is what I'm hearing. It's starting the flow. All right, so new year, new you, and new things. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
for January 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Libra Collective. What does Libra most need to know at this time? What messages do we have for their highest good? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Libra Collective. All right, so heart of the matter, we have the Five of Wands being crossed by the Queen of Wands. In the distant past, we have the King of Pentacles. Recent past, we have the Six of Cups. Crowning this is the Three of Wands. Future energy moving in is the Seven of Cups. How you're seeing yourself, how others are seeing you is the King of Swords. Outside influences to you is the Eight of Pentacles. Future and hopes and fears, we have the Three of Cups. Future energy moving in. Possible outcome, we have the Higher Font. Overall energy here is the Seven of Pentacles. The hidden energy is the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. So we definitely have some major changes taking place with this Tower. Okay, so let's speak about the overall energy here and the hidden energy so definitely divine timing is at play um this is a period of evaluation uh for the knight of wands see some of you may be dealing with a significant fire sign i do see fire showing up here crossing the five of wands and fire there i'm um, very very concentrated so some of you may be dealing with a sagittarius and aries or a leo but does not have to be this speaks about what you know, moves you, what you're passionate about, what sparks the interest and the excitement and the zest for life. So some of you may be evaluating uh, your time, your energy, your desires, your passions, you, where you want to go, things you want to do uh, with your life at this time. For others of you, I do feel like you're patiently waiting to take a step forward or make a, some type of move here. Again, I definitely see changes, big changes taking place, some endings coming so that a new beginning can start. Now, in the heart of the matter, we have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And we will, Libra, get clarifiers to further suss out information on these. I like to give the general messages. And then usually with the clarifier comes a more specific storyline, generally speaking. So with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands, what I'm getting here is this is the energy of conflict. This is not major conflict. This is not like the Five of Swords. Um, this is the energy of, you know, it could be internal conflict, wrestling with an idea, a vision. This could be petty arguments, disagreements. Um, this could be with a significant fire sign. You could be in an argument with somebody that you've been a partner to, and, you know, somebody that's been in the leadership. But for a lot of you, I feel like you're struggling internally. There's internal conflict towards what drives you, what moves you, what you're being inspired to. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who goes after what they want. They take no prisoners. There's no hold back. So they do anything, say anything, be anything to achieve their highest goals. Some in the highest vibration, that is wonderful. Lowest vibration, not so great. But in the highest vibration, they'll do anything to go after what they want. And there may be conflict for you for this that may be going against what some other people may think is best for you. But remember at the end of the day, Libra, it's what's best for yourself that matters here. So some of you, again, could be in conflict with a another person, um, your other half here. This could be, you know, petty arguments and fights. <clears throat> this, but uh, this could be some of you having more more people involved in your connection than needs to be there. So at the root of this, we have the King of Pentacles. This is significant Earth energy. So this would be Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. But this speaks to the stability of financially, financial, physical, emotional, mental stability. And I feel like that was being called into question for some of you. This could also have to do with a partnership, um, a boss for some of you, or even a spouse. Or someone that had the potential to be. And the recent past, we have this wonderful, very much visiting all the 12 zodiac signs, This, this re these readings, the Six of Cups. I can tell you I have shuffled and shuffled and shuffled these cards. 
and the six of cups is pretty much showing up in every single one and that tells me there's this huge influence right now on past energy now i'm going to acknowledge for some of you that could indicate a past person tempted to come back here or there was a return of some type of past energy or there could be a focus on things from your past that came into play now again this is recent past energy so for a lot of you, this has already happened. For some of you, it hasn't happened yet. The Six of Cups doesn't necessarily have to be tied to a romantic partner. This could be any person or anything that you felt a strong connection to. This could have to do with children. There could have been an issue recently in your life involving children. But also, this could be a return to a, to a time frame, Libra, where you were you know, a, a return to innocence and naivety, a turn to the energy before life's you know, lessons and um, life's way t makes us harder and tired and more bitter and just, you know, it's kind of that return to that innocent time frame. Okay, so crowning this reading, we have the Three of Wands. So this tells me that somebody has been waiting for an extremely long time for things to turn around, for their shifts to come in, been waiting for a period of time to get what they want. This is somebody who is now turning their back on the past here, and they're looking towards the future. What still remains, what lies ahead. And the future energy position, we have the Seven of Cups coming through, so there's going to be options, choices, decisions to be made. With the Seven of, of Cups, if we're speaking of emotions, it can mean that there's a period of emotional overwhelm, a little bit of confusion while a decision is being made. Um, this is about wanting to choose the right thing, but be careful that we do not get caught up in all, get caught up so much in choosing, putting the emphasis on the right thing, and that we don't make any decision at all. We kind of get stagnated with trying to make a decision. How you're seeing yourself, how others are seeing you, Libra, is this King of Swords energy, which very well can be your energy overall. This is you sitting in a place of, I'm going to say judgment. Um, you are determining what's right for you in this very moment. The King of Swords does what's right for all. They're not worried about making friends. They take their emotions out of the scenarios. They rely on logistical and logical thoughts and facts and figures to make determinations to make decisions this is the energy that you're in currently somebody outside of you is working at the eight of pentacles they could be focused on work there they could be focused on a project a passion they could be working on themselves or somebody's putting a, a, a lot of detailed effort and attention into a situation hopes and fears is a three of cups for some of you you're hoping for reconciliation some of you are hoping for good news or a message or just better days ahead. For others of you, this is what you fear. You fear that this reconciliation is not going to happen. This good news is not going to arrive. That better days are just not ahead for you. Future energy moving into the spread is the higher font, which speaks of traditional values of commitment, of taking leadership roles. If this was a promotion that you were waiting on, you may be finding yourself in that leadership position. All right, let's go ahead and get some clarifiers and take a deeper dive into the situation. Significant zodiac sign showing up in this reading at this point in time is um, Taurus. Some of you may be connecting with the Taurus. I don't see any major ones jumping out of me specifically. Again, we have, well, we have air, or, well, we have air, which is you, Libra. We have Sophia, Gemini, or Aquarius. We've got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Virgo, Taurus, and Virgo. I don't see any water signs showing up, possibly at this point, but that's because they should, could still show up yet. All right, spirit guides, angels, and sisters, let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Libra Collective. Please clarify the cards on the table. Let's start with this Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Heart of the Matter. What's happening here? All right, so we got the Queen of Swords. This very well could be your person. We've got the Page of Wands.
Uh, we've seen, I've seen Judgment. I'm going to set that aside. I feel like that's a different message. We got the Four of Wands. The world. Yeah. Some of you may be at a distance from each other. It doesn't have to be. This is all coming down to a Judgment call. This is about, for some of you, this is going to be about your partner, Queen of, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. You're coming through in the energy of the King, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Now, this may have to actually do with your partner. There may be a lot of heat, a lot of argument, a lot of fighting. I see some very fiery communication taking place. Again, this could be in a commitment, a foundation. This could even be a job. But there's a judgment call that needs to be made, a cycle that needs to be wrapped up. Some of you may be at a distance. This may have to do with travel for some of you. But there's definitely, this has definitely been burdening. And this, this Queen of Wands has been a burden. It's been stressing you out. And I think you guys have been holding on to this a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer, hoping things turn around. Or this could be vice versa, but I feel like it, there is this energy of wanting to lay this down. All right, let's see this King of Pentacles. In the distant past. Or as the root of the spread. Why is the King of Pentacles here? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Judgment. We got the King of Wands now. And the Ace of Swords. The Four of Cups. Yeah. So if this is about your stability of whether this was financial, emotional, physical, or in a relationship itself, um, I do believe that a, a judgment call was needed, a decision was needed to be made here. Particularly, the, you know, got the king, of, king and queen of wands now here in this reading with the four of cups. I see um, upsetness. I see dissatisfaction. I see um, discord, unhappiness, instability. I see the Ace of Swords here. Do you need to tell me that somebody was seeking clarity to understand the situation, to make a judgment call, to make a decision? There was some type of truth that needed to be spoken or lines of communication that needed to be open here. I feel like there was instability. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles. There was some type of instability here. I feel like somebody was wanting an offer or trying to make an offer or wanted something to come to fruition. Some of you, this could have been bossing up, taking things to the next level getting that promotion for some of you this could be getting married or you know just you know wanting to take things a little bit further get some more stability and within this relationship and I feel like things were not flowing I actually feel like for some of you you were dealing with somebody that acted well immature and much like a child like you know I see I have all this in front of me but this is not exactly what I want I want things my way um and, or the highway I you know, I definitely feel there was a very, pa there was a lot of passion here. There was a lot of desire, but I don't feel like there's a whole lot of follow through. And I think it caused this tower, tower moment and it's kind of caught things up in the hanged man there. So let's see the six of cups. Why is the six of cups here? All right, spirit guides, angels, the ancestors. Let's take a look at the six of cups and the recent past energy. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, why is the Six of Cups showing up in this reading? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Why is the Six of Cups here? For my beautiful Libras, why is the Six of Cups appearing? There you are, Libra. <laughs> showing up in your reading. Eight of Wands, and there's the Death card. Some of you are hanging on. Okay. Libra, Justice, we got the Death card, Scorpio now showing up in this energy as well, and the Eight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely holding on to um, the past, wanting to move on, needing to move on from it, needing to just put it to rest, put it to bed. You are your person. This could be, this could be, you know, this could be you moving on from the past, putting it to rest, putting it to end, finally releasing it. For others of you, this was kind of hanging on to the thought of the happiness. Um, this is, you know, talks about happiness, emotional fulfillment. This could be a family unit that maybe had was adjudicated and came to it. And there could be children involved. This could have been very, it happened very quickly. It left you very guarded, very wounded and guarded and afraid of more loss. I do see the world telling me whatever the situation was or is or resonates for you. It was completed with the world. 
it came to an end. Um, I do see a struggle to find the right footing um, afterwards. Queen of Cups could be with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There they are showing up in this reading. Um, for others of you, I definitely feel like this was a return of the past for you. Whatever that means, whether this was feelings of the past coming up again, some hurt, some pain, some memories, whether this was somebody returning from your past, maybe a Scorpio, and communicating, wanting to move forward, but maybe somebody held back out of fear. Um, somebody could have seen this as their happiness, but it scared the living daylights out of them. Whatever this was for you, I definitely feel like this could this complete it. This was an energy of completion. This could have been another opportunity for this past to come back around too for some of you though. Like a new chance. All right, so let's see this three of wands. This could be what you also are desiring is the past to come back around, Libra. What is this three of wands energy? For some of you, I do feel like you walked away from this and you turned your back on it. What is this three of wands? Yeah, the ten of swords. You put this to bed. You put the past to bed. You are looking now towards the future. Yeah, ten of wands. Ten of, ten of wands, ten of swords. You laid this down. Yeah, you made the choice. Some of you, this was walking away, moving away from a relationship where you waited, you accessed it. You were waiting for things to turn around and it just didn't. Um, I feel like you were solid here. I don't think you were really missing it. Yeah, six of pentacles. You, this was you righting the wrongs. You were giving no more energy to the situation that wasn't being returned to you. A lot of you, this is putting to bed, putting to rest, turning your back on the past, laying it down, laying the burdens down, and stepping into your own energy, your own power, and looking towards the future, restoring the balance within your within your life and within yourself. Yeah. Three of Pentacles, now ready to invest and build in the life that you've always desired. Getting illumination could be a Virgo for some of you um, about what you want and for stability and happiness in the long term. You guys are healing. And now I feel like something new is starting to ignite those passions within you again. I think some of you are afraid of it. All right, so is it that my Virgos, or my Virgos, yeah. My Libras, do you have more options available to you? Do you have multiple options on the table? Some of you may this could be job related. Could have a new job coming in, new job offers, multiple job offers. But let's see what's going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the future energy coming into this reading, please? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2022? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The eight of, eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, yep, and the Ace of Wands. This is not surprising me, Seven of Cups, bottom of the deck. Libra, I'm, I love your energy. I love this reading for you. So the Seven of Cups are here. Yeah, there's multiple opportunities. There's a little bit of overwhelm and confusion on what to choose, how to choose, which direction are you going to move in. The Eight of Wands is a fast-paced communication, but it's also the want to desire to get moving, to get going. You are definitely standing in your power. You are the master manifester at this point with the seven, with this nine of pentacles. You desire something, but you no longer have that massive urge of that I've got to have it. You know that you'll be fine without it. There's something that you are very passionate about, very interested in, and I definitely think that some of you are a little bit Hesitant on choosing to go down and go after this because of past fear, but I don't see it. Yeah, you're contemplating it. I don't see this holding you back. Now, this very well could be your person that suddenly has this the spark of passion unite in their life, and they're ready to go after it. It can be feeling kind of great, but there's also there's this little bit of hesitation of what if I what if I'm wrong kind of energy here. And they, this, your person can see you as that nine of pentacles, right? All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Why is my Libra here as the king of swords? When we take a look here at Libra's energy, please. Why are they showing up in the king of swords? Please show me clearly, nicely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance, please. Why is the king of swords showing up here? 
I just got this message. You guys may be communicating exactly what you want to somebody. And you might be very blunt about it. Yeah, Page of Cups. What else can you tell me? King of Cups, Six of Cups. If you guys are dealing with a water sign, I think you're moving on from that. I definitely see an expression, yeah, Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So some of you may be moving away from or could be moving towards a water sign where there is an offer of commitment on the table. King of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are weighing your options here about a connection where there's an offer for stability on the table or the potential for stability. I think you guys are going to take the lessons that you learned in other situations and apply it here. I see you moving slowly into commitment. This is not going to be anything quick for a lot of you. You're being cautious and careful and you're definitely weighing the pros and cons of this offer. Some of you may actually not be interested in this offer and you're just completely moving away from it. All right, so what do we have here with the Eight of Pentacles, outside influences to my Libras, please? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for my Libra collective. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here as the outside influence? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Thank you. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Ooh. Wow. Oh, seven of swords popping up there. Six of swords, the lovers, and the nine of pentacles. Uh, wow. Okay. Some of you may be connecting with the Gemini, and ironically enough, I was going to say that I, I'm pretty sure Jim and I had a similar a similar spread. If it's not Jim and I, it was Aquarius. But the Eight of Pentacles was in the exact same place. We have the Lovers. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords with the Seven of Swords. So somebody um, is a, was trying to be sneaky, trying to get away with something. Possibly somebody that you have a connection to, maybe was in a relationship with. They see that you're solid, they're abundant, now they're working on trying to come towards you. Because they see that you're becoming so happy, that your wish fulfillment is happening, and now they're wanting to come back in and make you an offer. But I see a lot of you guys walking away from this, or they've walked away from you. And now they're coming back around, which is very possible. But I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is your energy. I feel like you're solid and abundant. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're relying on yourself. I mean, they could be working on bossing up for the Nine of Pentacles, from the Eight to Nine of Pentacles. They could be working on themselves when they when they are ready. Maybe they were deceptive in the past and they wanted, you know, you wanted to walk away from them or they walked away from you. And maybe they know that's where their happiness, their wish fulfillment lies. Maybe this is the offer that's coming in for stability, for, you know, an actual legitimate, you know, offering of love and commitment here. And they're working on themselves so they can come forward to you, which is very possible for some of you. All right. So let's see this three of cups and the hopes and fears. Let's see if there's any information on that, because I, but I feel like the message was what that was pretty straightforward. What do we have with the Three of Cups and the Hopes and Fears? The Three of Pentacles, Justice. Yeah. Libra, I do feel like this is what I've said. A lot of you are fearful that this isn't going to, you know, happy days are not ahead. Reconciliation is not going to happen. Good news is not going to arrive. 
there's going to be more heartbreak and pain. There's going to be third parties um, involved. 333, there's an, there is an angel number, 333, look it up. Um, especially if you've been seeing it synchronistically for a while, definitely take that as a sign of synchronicity. Some of you are afraid of a third party, third party energy. Libra, very much could be you that's afraid of this. But somebody's just afraid that things are not going to happen. The life that they've been trying to build to make happen isn't going to happen. This is all going to end up in repeated heartbreak and pain. The reconciliation, happy times, good news, happier days aren't ahead. And this is an energy of being overly cautious, maybe even blocking your own path forward. And you're being called to have faith, hope and faith against even the hardest, darkest moments and days. To keep moving beyond the chaos. See beyond the chaos. Keep moving. That there's rewards and happiness that lies ahead and wish fulfillment. All right. So let's see the higher thoughts. Future energy. Possible outcome coming into this reading for my Libras. Why is it here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance, please. Why is the Taurus? Yeah, why is Taurus here? Why is the higher font here? Poor Libra. So if someone's been tied down, stuck in a commitment, I think that's about ready to resolve itself. Uh, some hanged man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, there's a no opportunity arising, a new, new chance. A new chance where there's been fears and instability. There's the Ace of Swords. You're going to get clarity in this situation. If it's been stuck, it's being cut loose. This will be an opportunity for commitment, for that job offer, for that position, for that love, coming into unionship, taking action, making it happen. Yep, you guys have been fighting, waiting for a long time, and love is coming in. Love is coming in. There's opportunities. What was stuck is getting unstuck. All right, let's sit, get some uh, romance angels on this and see what's happening for you guys. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through. For the Libra Collective, when it comes to love and romance, what does Libra most need to know at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately, best messages, advice, and guidance coming through. For the Libra Collective, please show me clearly. What's going on with Libra when it comes to love? Romance, matters of the heart, well, that's a lot. We're not going to take all of those. Thank you. Yeah, they want that one. Okay. Bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. That's the Six of Swords energy. This is that energy of taking lessons learned, moving on, moving into better times, better days ahead. So if you've been going through it emotionally within your connection, within your relationship, I do see smooth sailing ahead. As long as you guys, you know, make the efforts, the greatest love is worth taking, the steps that you're being guided to take, put in the effort, really open up communication and move things forward. For others of you, this means that things were, things were difficult, where you've been in the storm, you're moving into calmer days, moving into alignment. It's definitely going to take some effort and work to make those things happen. All right, we do have healing family issues. Your life, life, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This could also be healing a family and moving forward together as a family. Again, it's going to take efforts, but it's not impossible. Some of you are dealing with some co codependency issues. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And some of you are just getting to know somebody or will be. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond is going to deepen. But remember, most of all, it's really important that you... Open your heart chakra, open your heart to receive and to give love. If you close yourself off, it's out of fear, a fear of rejection, fear of more hurt and pain, fear of loss, fear of sadness. It's going to create 
things and manifest things into your life that you really just truly don't want. You want to keep it open. You want to keep positive and you want to keep the source of flow energetically flowing through your heart at this time because some of you definitely got a soulmate coming in or has come in. All right, let's pull these Zodiac cards and see who is showing up most in your energetic field at this time. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what Zodiac signs are showing up most in my Libra's energy? Month of January, we've got Aquarius already popping out. I'm hearing that there's five energies. We got Gemini, which I was already feeling. We've got Cancer. We've got Scorpio. And we have Taurus. Bottom of the deck, there you are, my beautiful Libras. All right, so I love the signs and synchronicities. I think the only sign that did not make itself known during that reading directly was Aquarius. Let's get your final party message. But we definitely seen Cancer. We definitely seen Scorpio. We definitely seen Gemini. Taurus was very heavy. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2020. 2022, excuse me. Best messages, advice, and guidance for relationship message, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. And guys, I just want to quickly point this out. Most of you already know this, but if you're new to the channel, never seen my videos before, you're not going to. If your sign came out, take it as a sign in synchronicity. But if your person's zodiac sign did not come out or was not named during this reading, but you still found that this reading massively resonated with you or resonated with you on any level, then it's still your reading. It just means that these energies for these people needed the further confirmation. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, what is the relationship message, the party message here, advice or guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2022? What is your party message, advice, guidance for Libra when it comes to relationships? Okay, so we got flexible. Card number 19. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's time to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. Very beautiful ending message. A lot of promise and, and happiness and compromise in that card. All right, my beautiful Libras, that is all that I have for you at this moment in time. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Even if it didn't, please be sure to drop a hello or hi, how are you, anything like that. Um, I love getting messages. I do read every single one. I don't always get the comment back, but I do interact um, with each comment by either a thumbs up or a heart, um, depending on the comment. And so all they are not in vain. Trust me, guys. It brings me much joy. That being stated, if you have not yet done so, please be sure to smash that like button. It gets this video out there for all the Libras like yourself that may need to see it. If you have not joined us and you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you stuck around. Please consider subscribing and becoming a member of the Kassarian Soul family. We would love to have you part of the Kassarian Soul tribe. That being stated, 
I want to take just a moment and say to all my Libra subscribers that have been here since day one or even two weeks ago, uh, we are now celebrating our second year, going into our third year here on YouTube. This is our second anniversary. And I can say that this last year has been extremely brutal and been very hard for the channel, for myself and the channel. Um, there has been so many things that happened in my personal life. And I think for all of us in the world that just um, made this year very difficult. So if you have stuck through since day one, um, or like I said, even two weeks ago, I just want to thank you for your continued support for your likes, your shares, your views, your comments, your interaction on the channel. Much of it is appreciated, all of it. Well, all of it is appreciated, much of it is noticed. Uh, I love I love my Libras. I love all the zodiac signs, but I have a special place in my heart for you Libras because you guys are the most interactive most of the time. So that being stated, I want to wish all of you a year filled with love, light, and abundance. If you're celebrating the new year, happy new year. If you're not, that's okay. If you're still around and you haven't subscribed, please consider it. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Please remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every single day. Namaste. Bye for now.